never thought that it'd be so simple I found a way, I found a way Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Cash Bullock. And I'm Yuvia Martinez. And we're here with your Tuesday morning announcements. Lead Latino Club is holding the Day of the Dead Art Contest. Create a colorful art piece using any technique and materials. The art piece has to represent the happy and joyful spirit of this important cultural celebration. Turn in your artwork at, uh, in room HM1, Senora Paredes' room, before November 1st. The best three will get a prize. Seniors, the Great America trip is coming up on December 7th. Make sure to get a form from the student store, turn it in, and pay $95 before this Friday. Hey Wolfpack, have a cool talent to show off to our school? Sign up for our Pack Savvy Talent Show taking place in November on November 29th. Sign-ups are in the cafeteria both lunches. Let's see what you got, Wolfpack. I know I'm participating. Are you, Yuvia? Sadly, I don't have a cool talent. Aw, oh, man. Have you, have you seen hackers on TV and wondered what they were doing? Well, we have a special workshop for you. S security engineers are going to demo a live cyber attack. It will be aired this, this Thursday in Mrs. Hale's room, HF2, during late lunch. You can also sign up to watch the attack from home starting today. For more information, please see Mrs. Hale during either lunch. Let's see what Elijah and Ryan have for sports today. What's good, Wolfpack? I'm Ryan Dolaire. And I'm Elijah Lander. We're here with your sports update. Last Saturday, the Boston Red Sox won the World Series against the Los Angeles Dodgers, winning four out of seven games. Let's take a look back at the girls' volleyball playoff game last Thursday against Turlock High School. <laughs> Varsity volleyball team play a playoff home game against Oak Ridge High School today after school at 7 p.m. Good luck, Wolfpack. Now let's take it back to your morning announcements. Thanks, guys. Moving on, She Kills Monsters opens Friday, November 2nd, and runs until Saturday, November 10th. Show times are Thursdays at 6 p.m., Fridays at 7 p.m., and Saturdays at 2 and 7 p.m. Tickets are $8 pre-sale and $10 at the door. Let's take a look at what the cast has to say about the show. I'm Kylie. I'm Skyly. And I play Lilith Morningstar. I play Calliope Darkwalker. Um, my character is basically, she's a demon queen. She likes to eat things and she's very scary. And she has two swords, so that's great. My character Calliope, she's a dark elf. And I have this huge staff that I walk with. And I'm like the mom of the group, but also I'm kind of like a robot in a sense. I don't really have emotions keep and I just kind of- Keep me in check. I keep everyone <laughs> in check in the group, but I'm also like, okay everyone, like I'm gonna go fight people. And it was a lot of fun working with the staff for uh, my weapon. I'm Tessie. And I'm Jessica. She Kills Monsters is a show about a girl who finds her sister's journal and travels into the Dungeons and Dragons world to understand more about her 
and her experiences. The show is really interactive and covers a lot of present day issues such as LGBTQ issues, bullying, and women empowerment. So the show opens on November 2nd and runs through to the 10th. And you can see me and Jessica. I'm gonna be one of the narrators and I'm Evil Tina. So come out and see it. Deposits for the Oregon Shakespeare Festival field trip are due on November 1st, and $50 holds your spot. For more information on either event, go to blogs.egusd.net slash Wolfpack Theater. This year we plan to go during spring break from Tuesday, April 16th to Thursday, April 18th. The entire field trip is only $300, and that includes four shows, one actor workshop, a backstage tour, lodging, transportation, and breakfast. This year, the Joy Club is, per is partnering with Samaritan's Purse for Operation Christmas Child, an organization that sends shoe boxes full of Christmas gifts to children in third world countries. They are asking for donations of toiletries, clothing items, small toys, and school supplies. Nothing used or food or, and no foods or liquids, please. They will be accepting donations in the front office in Ms. Sherwood's room, HJ7, until November 1st. There will be a packing party in HJ7 on November 1st at 3.30 with pizza and cookies. Be sure to, to bring your friends and spread Christmas cheer. FCA has a very important leadership meeting this Thursday, November 1st. If you are interested in leadership, come to HM2 or Early Lunch or L3 for Late Lunch. Uh, boo grams are back at CO. Come to the table in uh, the lunch room and send a boo gram to your friend. It's two dollars for a note and a full-size candy bar for any friend. Make sure you know their Advo teacher's name or classroom number. To anyone that has bought a boo gram, please go to the table inside the cafeteria at lunch with your recipient's third or fourth period class. They will be delivered tomorrow. Please remember to renew or return books you checked out from the library. Failure to do so will result in being placed on the no activities list. Now let's learn what Proposition 7 is all about. Proposition 7 will allow the California State Legislature to establish a permanent year-round daylight savings time. Time zones are established by the federal government and daylight savings time was established by federal law. Legally, states are not allowed to adopt year-round daylight savings time, but they are allowed to opt out and remain on standard time all year. So, if you vote yes for this proposition, that means that you would like to keep standard time all year long. But if you vote no, then you would like to continue having daylight savings every second Sunday of March and November. Interestingly enough, both the Republican Party and the Democratic Party want you to vote yes on this proposition, but there are still arguments for and against. Democrat Kansen Chu and Democrat Lorena Gonzalez argue that heart attacks increase by 10% and strokes by 8% due to irregular sleeping patterns during daylight savings time. They also argue that it increases electricity use by 4%, which raises costs by $434 million every year. Some arguments against come from Democrat Hannah Beth Jackson and Republican Jim Nielsen. They argue that daylight savings time has been year-round once before during President Nixon's presidency and there is an energy crisis which turned into a disaster. They also argue that it would be terribly inconvenient for the sun to rise at 5 o'clock in the morning during the summer and 7.30 in the morning during the fall and winter. They also argue that daylight savings time in fact makes citizens safer, especially during the fall and winter, because of increased visibility for transportation. Don't forget to vote on November 6th in the quad. And before we go, let's check out She Kills Monsters. There once simply existed a game, forged in the minds of nerds and crafted in the hands of geeks, and so advanced in its advancedness, it would take a whole second edition to contain all its mighty geekery. And here in the land of Ohio, during the year of 1995, one of the rarest types of geeks walked to the earth. This nerd was a girl nerd, the most uncommon form of nerd in the world, and her name was Tilly Evans. But this story isn't about her. It's about about her sister. Agnes Evans grew up average. She was of average height, average weight, and average build. She had average parents and grew up in the average town of Athens, Ohio with her little sister, Tilly. Tilly, however, was anything but average. Though the two young girls shared the same parentage, they had very little in common. This is the story of how Agnes the Average learned to finally fight and kill monsters. Well, 
Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Cash Bullet. And I'm Yuvia Martinez. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have, have a, a terrifying, terrifying Tuesday, Tuesday, Wolf Pack. pack.